Hey guys, I'm here in Utah doing some backcountry flying in the Kit Fox and enjoying all these amazing snow covered mountains all back here. We got three planes today 172, 182, and a Kit Fox. We're at 6,000 feet and we're heading on to a couple more spots. If you're just picking up on this video, we did a couple more spots, one over there and then here. So if you want to see those landings, go check out the video right before this. But let's jump in, get out. It's already 1.30 almost and I got to be back to Page, Arizona by 4.30 so I can fill up so I can get out early tomorrow. So let's go. This one better than the, the last one we went to. A little more sketchy, it was up on top of a mountain with a little bit of snow. It wasn't slippery really, but you know, we had like headwind for takeoff, things like that, so not ideal. All right, there goes the Brian in the 172. Get my Stratics going so I can see them a little bit quicker and easier. All right, I'm saving some of these little strips. Um, they're all through here in Utah. And they're all like RAF um, airstrips. And if you are a flight sim or you'd like to come try some of these out, um, go to my Patreon page because this month I'm actually running a deal. So if you become a commercial tier, which is 10 bucks a month, you get my flight simulator course for free, which is 50 bucks. It's really specific around the Kodiak, but it has the basics of flying. So you can easily incorporate it into flying a Kit Fox or Super Cub or something like that on Microsoft Flight Sim or whatever. All right, you up? I don't know, I'm right behind you. All right, good deal. So we're going around this mountain up here then? Yeah, we're gonna track a little further to the left uh, once we get around this thing. I gotta find out how far away my destination where I actually need to go this evening to see, because I want to get fuel before they close. They close at five, and sundown is at 5.10. All right, it's 78 miles from here, so about an hour flight or so, because I know I'm gonna have a lot of headwind going back. So that gives me an idea. I still have another hour to play, basically, before I need to jet out. I don't think that they're gonna be getting out quite as soon from there, but that's all right. All right, so this is 4,800 feet elevation, 2,000 feet long, and uh, I have really no other idea what else to expect. Yeah, so landed north is uphill, landed south downhill. The wagon, I've only landed it one time here, and I landed downhill. So I had nobody to tell me anything about it. So I actually would like to come up and land north uphill, but we'll see when we get there. All right, well, we'll see what the winds are doing. We might have a decent crosswind if that's the case, because I feel like the winds are behind me. I mean, my ground speed had indicated I got a six knot tailwind right now. Okay. That's at uh, 5,900. See that big cutout in the canyon there, or the base of the canyon right in front of me? Yeah. So that's where you, that's the canyon you fly to land it, I believe. Uh, like I said, it's been two years. Give me a minute to check it out and see. Okay. This is still three and a half miles in front of me on my map, so. Uh, okay, that'd be like over top of this mountain. Yeah, it's in the like next little valley up the canyon. Oh, so we need to jump over this one? Oh, you know what, I'm going in the wrong direction. This is the canyon you fly, but the strip's on the island right after this canyon, so I, I apologize, I'm coming from the opposite direction I came from last time. So head over top of this one? Yeah, or you can just fly this canyon I'm flying right now. Oh, I see. All right, I'm switching to your five o'clock. Just so I can see a little bit easier. There we go. I'm gonna fly this canyon to the right. I'm not gonna get real low. I'm gonna stay a little up below so I can take a look at everything. 
Yeah, with how strong the winds were earlier, I don't know, but um, they do feel a lot calmer though now. Wow, this is a cool canyon. I think if you're going to land in this direction, this is about where I dropped into the canyon right here, and then you start kind of you know, weave through it real quick. Oh, if we want to land to the north? Yeah, so I'm going to kind of approach it like I'm going to land it, but I probably won't land it. Okay. I see the strip now. All right, well, let's get a couple notches of flaps in. Start slowing down just so I can stay behind him, above him, above his wake turbulence. Yes, these little airplanes actually do give some. Uh, I've got it now. Yep, got it in sight. Let's go full flaps now because I'm stupid. Calm. It feels pretty calm. I don't see the wind stock yet. Yeah, it does feel pretty calm. I'm coming in behind. I'll keep going. On the ground. Dead calm down here, Brandon. I'm going to taxi all the way up to the top to get out of you guys' way. Head in Splendor. You guys have probably seen this on YouTube from other people, but this was by far my favorite approach coming down the valley. Really fun. Leaving out of here is going to be interesting. Looks like it's going to be a really hard right-hand turn out right after the end down there. But let me show you the drone up real quick if I have any battery power because, man, the views here are incredible. just walking over here let me show you this this would be the coolest place to camp I think I've ever seen take a look right down here nice flat spot with the view of like the most amazing thing ever runways right here I mean you could camp even right here and look at this that's that's close enough for me that's like I don't know eight to nine hundred feet down probably anyway I think we've got one more place that we'd like to go to maybe two I'm not sure I'm going to try to record getting out of here, going to the next one, and yeah, then back to Paige. get out of here. Zoom, zoom. I wish you guys could hear the echoing. All right, I'm overhead, the, about overhead the strip, diving in fast. Got you in sight. Because it echoes, <laughs> it's so cool sounding. Kind of sounds like a little bit like a T6 when it's echoing through here. How'd it sound, right? Oh, it's incredible. Almost like a T6. <laughs> We're gonna head on. Next game out, right? Oh, that's arm. So basically all I'm doing is just hugging this tire because I know that there's big drop-offs over there, so I can't see anything from here on out. So I do have the backup camera. But what I found out though is it's slip swapped. Flip flopped. Um so what you think is on the left is actually on the right. Kind of makes it a real pain in the butt. All right, I'm on the roll. Let's go. There we go. There's 
40. Pop it up. Cool. Let me know when you're starting to catch up, and I'll uh, go to cruise speed. Okay. All right, we're going over to Mexican uh, Mountain or something. I don't know. Climbing towards rising terrain. But man, this is <laughs> this is by far the most beautiful area I think I have ever flown, ever. I love the desert for one, and this is just like the pinnacle of amazing desert. We've got nine and 11, so we still have 20 gallons, which is four hours of flying in this airplane. So I've got plenty. It's 2.30 now, we need to be jetting out of here. Really, well, here in a second, I'll take a look. You with me, Ryan? Yeah, I'm at your six, just going through these canyons. All right, I detoured a little bit air to check out Brandon. I see a dust cloud right now. See landing or taking off? Uh, I don't know if I'll land or not. He said it's pretty rough and long and not really anything quite great, but uh, I'm going to go low pass it anyhow. Well, I need to head out of the Mexican place by around three if I want to get back by 4.30 so I can make sure that I get fuel this evening. Mexican Mountain is only 30 miles away. Okay. Ryan, you got me in sight? Yep. I might spin around and land right here, I don't know, we'll see. Are you taking off on the road? Yeah, I'm going to back taxi down a little bit and take off the road. That, that feels awful. All right, let me set up and I'll fly right next to you and uh, see if I can get a shot of your takeoff with my 360 camera. Sweet, I'm just gonna uh, type back to X and then you let me know when to roll. Okay, I'll set up. Goodness, that was a long takeoff roll. I know, I was hugging the horn the whole way. Zoom, zoom. Man, I can hear it from here. I was on the horn the whole way. That's crazy. Well, I guess we are 7,000 feet, though. All right, Brian, I'm going in, uh, headed east, circle the, the uh, butte, and come out, and then uh, come back around and decide which way to land. You're gonna you're gonna overfly the field to the east. Correct. Got it. Brian, did he say he's flying all the way around this butte off of our right and then coming back in? Yeah, he's gonna fly all the way around the butte. I'm probably just gonna go in and land, and if it's best for the east, uh, we're already headed right on it if you're behind me. All right, I think I'm just too close to you because I don't hear a word you're saying with my radio. Uh, can you hear me better now? A little bit. I'm turning so I can have better. So you're gonna go in and land and assess. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go in and land, unless I don't like something, but uh, Brandon said it's better to land east, and he's going all the way around the field. Okay, I'm just giving my sa myself more space between you and I, and then I'll come in behind you. Sounds good. I'm not really seeing where the runway is, but... Oh, it must be down in those trees area. I think I've seen videos of this online, actually. Alright, let's go full flaps now. Checklist is complete. Let's slow to 65. Way out here, give ourselves even more space so Brian has enough time to get off the runway. Oh yeah, yeah, I have seen this online. Actually wanted to come here, I thought this would be a really cool place to camp. But then again, every place is. Alright, final for Ryan. There's 60 knots. We're continuing. A little bit high, looking at these trees. Hey Brandon, I just shut down, but uh, winds are calm if you'd rather land in the other direction. It's, uh, it's not fairly even moving. Alright, are you guys off the roadway? Just about. Yep, we're both off now. So we're parked all the way at the end off the side.
guys, this is Mexican Mountain. I've seen this on YouTube before and I'm sure you guys have as well. Really fun. Um, after this, I think we're heading on the way back to Page and maybe stopping at maybe one other place, but either way, this would be a really good place to come camping uh, maybe sometime during like the summer months. It's, it's way too freaking cold now though. Get out of here. Hi guys, well, this is the end of the video, <laughs> but this is the takeoff because I don't have that much more battery power, so. Let me get pulled up here out of Brian's way. Look at that view in front of me. I don't know if you guys can see this. This is spectacular. I mean, this really is absolutely just spectacular. And a little river down here. Oh my goodness. This is fun. This is fun.